this was the biggest thing and you don't have enough time to get through a major project but when I went to graduate school I started implementing different strategies in today's video I wanted to kind of give you a little bit of a glimpse of my own life and strategies that I've used to be successful in graduate school and in research in general. For those of you who don't know anything about me, I'm Elena Reister and I got my PhD in chemistry. So I'm gonna talk to you about the ways that I stayed consistent through my own research throughout my grad school program. Um, here is my dissertation that I wrote. Um, and I ended up completing my PhD program in three and a half years. Um, so all of this research was completed and written up in three and a half years. And I could not have done that if I hadn't have been consistent through my research and getting things done. Um, when I was in undergrad, I did multiple different types of research programs. And in my last semester, I actually was in a research-based course and I kind of fell off the wagon and was just not doing well in my undergraduate research and wasn't making progress and ended up not getting the best grade in that course. But when I went to graduate school, I started implementing different strategies to make me better at being consistent with my research. And those strategies led to me finishing my PhD and my dissertation. And in this video, I'm going to share these with y'all today. So the first tip I wanted to go over and probably the biggest thing that you could take away from this video is you need to make progress on your research every week. So this progress can be just a small step forward or it can be a really big step or the completion of a really big project, but there needs to be some amount of progress being made each week. And I think when I was in my undergraduate course, this was the biggest thing because as soon as I went you know, the justification behind why I didn't do research the first week, it just tended to snowball from there and I just wasn't making good progress on my research course. So whenever I was in graduate school, every single week I tried to figure out what I could do in my research that made it progress a little bit forward. And sometimes that was something as simple as running one set of experiments or just gathering literature for a paper or even just writing a section of a paper. So one way to think about how to do this is after every week, think about if your advisor asked you what you did this week, could you tell them exactly what you did in your research to make progress and then do you think that they would actually consider that somewhat substantive? Was it actually a mark improvement or were you just doing something that really was making no real impact in moving your research forward? Yeah, do you want me to play? I gotta make a video. I gotta make a video. I gotta, I gotta film, puppy. I can't play right now. The next major thing that helped me when I was going through graduate school was to have a running list of all of the things that I needed to do in regards to my research. And so these can be spread out between different projects and it's not necessarily a list of things you want to accomplish in a certain amount of time. It's just a list so that whenever you're thinking about what can you do this week, and you don't have enough time to get through a major project, you can instead go through your list and see if there's anything that's a little bit smaller that would be better fitted into your week. Also, having that running list will make your research seem a little less overwhelming because you have what you need to do on paper, and generally whenever it's on paper, it always feels like so much less than whenever it's in your head. And so having that list can help keep you organized and figuring out what you need to do to make sure you're constantly moving forward on your research and not forgetting about things. So going along with that, write out what you plan to accomplish each week in your research. So at the beginning of your week, write out the different things that you want to accomplish by the end of that week to make sure that you are staying on track and prioritizing the things that you need to do so that when you have 
time throughout your week, you're not thinking about, okay, what is it that I could be doing with this time or what do I need to be doing to move forward? You already know what your plan is for the week. There's generally no deadlines for completing a research project. And this is important because research is kind of unknown. You don't know how long it's going to complete things. You don't know what's going to get in your way to complete those things. So you, there shouldn't be a deadline there or else, you know, you may never be able to meet those deadlines and it's not even your fault. But because there's no deadline with research, I feel like a lot of us know that that's one thing we can constantly push off and push off as other stuff starts to overwhelm us. So a great way to stay consistent in your research is to actually set deadlines for things in your research. And an important part of this is not to set deadlines for things out of your control. So you don't wanna say, okay, this paper I want done by a certain date, because especially if you haven't even done the data for that, you don't know what's gonna get in your way. And as soon as something gets in your way, well, it's not really your fault that you didn't complete it by the deadline because that's how you know science and research works. So instead, set deadlines for things that is completely within your control. So even if it is doing a set of experiments, set a deadline for when that set of experiments will be done. So even if it goes wrong, you're still gonna get the first set done by a certain day. And then maybe you have to redo that set or something else, and then you set a deadline for that instead of saying, okay, all of the data is gonna be collected by a certain day. Once you get into actually writing a paper or something like that that's majority in your control you can't always determine when you're going to submit that paper because your advisor is going to have to read it and other things like that but actually working on each section and getting a draft to your advisor is within your control and you should set deadlines for those even if there's no external deadline for that and that's going to be a big thing to help you constantly make progress towards your research and actually stay consistent in outputting research. You also want to keep a list of projects that you're currently working on or you need to keep in your mind somewhere in your workspace. So this can include both projects that you're collaborating on and projects that are specifically yours. But if you keep a running list of all of just the names of the projects that you're working on, even if they're nicknames, that can make sure that you don't fall behind on a project, which can especially happen when you're collaborating with someone and there's not a consistent talk between you two and, and asking for results or data on a certain project, that can kind of fall on the wayside while you work on other projects. So having that list somewhere that can constantly remind you of, of all the different things that you're working on is really good to make sure that you don't fall off on a certain project or feel like there's nothing going on. And if you really want to move your project forward, have a separate list of, I, of project ideas so that whenever you're getting to the finishing points of one project, you can quickly switch and start working on a separate project if you're able to come up with your own ideas for research in your area. I really hope that this was helpful and is going to help you in trying to be consistent through research. I know it helped me getting through my graduate school if you like this, please hit the like button. And if you wanna see more videos like it, subscribe to my channel. This is going to help to support me. And I'm really interested in making more vlog style videos about bringing y'all a little bit behind the scenes into what a postdoc life is really like. And then also some of my smaller tips and tricks for getting through some things like that. So if you are interested with those kind of videos, please leave a comment below letting me know. Or if you have any other ideas for videos you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below and I can start making those types of videos for y'all. I will see you on Monday at noon with my next upload.